The new pipette washer and dryer was designed by Spec Prep chemists to take the hassle out of washing volumetric pipettes. The pipette washer and dryer is constructed of durable polyethylene. Electricity is only necessary when using the optional pump accessory. Operation of the pipette washer and dryer is extremely simple and will shorten and simplify the process of cleaning your volumetric pipettes up to 23 at a time. The washer holds volumetric pipette sizes 0.5 mL to 250 mL. First water is run through the pipettes to wash them, then air is drawn through the pipettes to dry them. The Spec Prep pipette washer is a rectangular plastic unit approximately 3 feet tall and 1 foot square. The pipette washer has a door in the front which slides upward permitting access to the inside. The door can be held upright in upright position using the plastic plug that fits into the hole located above the door opening. Inside there is a shelf below the door level, level containing 23 conical or funnel shaped plastic pipette holders which are aligned in five rows of five, four, five, four, and five holders respectively. Each pipette holder is connected via plastic tubing to the wash and dry line. The third, fourth, and fifth rows of holders are connected through the left on-off valve, while the first and second rows of holders are connected to the right on-off valve. The operator may use two, three, or all five rows of pipette holders depending on the number of pipettes to be processed. Tubing extends from the two valves to a single main line, which terminates in a holes barb connector located on the front of the unit just below the on-off valve. Connect plastic tubing to your water source. Attach this tubing onto the holes barb connector on the front of the cabinet. Ensure both valves on the front of the pipette washer are closed. Handles in horizontal position. Place a pipette of any size, tip up, into each pipette holder. Start at the back, work forward towards the door. Once all the pipettes are placed into position, the valves for the rows containing pipettes are then placed in the open position. The valve handles are in the vertical position. Turn the water on. While facing the door of the pipette washer, you will note the valves located on the front of the cabinet. The valve on the left side of the cabinet controls rows 3, 4, and 5 towards the rear of the cabinet. The valve on the right of the cabinet controls the first and second rows of pipette holders. When the main water source is turned on, the pressurized water goes through the plastic tubing and then branches into the secondary water lines and fills each pipette. The water then shoots out of the pipette tip under pressure, splashes off the ceiling of the washer, and rains a shower of water over the outside of the pipettes, thus cleaning both inside and outside of the pipettes. Water should be allowed to run through the pipettes for about 10 to 15 minutes to achieve optimum cleanliness. Once the washing session is complete, shut off the water. The tubing may now be disconnected from the hose barb at the front of the cabinet or disconnected at the water source if you're going to reuse the same tubing. Attach this plastic tube to a vacuum source. Again, if you're reusing the same tubing you use for the water connection. Otherwise, attach tubing from a vacuum source onto the hose barb connector at the front of the cabinet. Once the vacuum source is opened, air is pulled in through the pipettes. Allow this to continue until the insides of all the pipettes are completely dried by the moving stream of air. Approximate time for drying is 15 minutes. The pipette washer has a small footprint, taking a minimum amount of sink, bench, or floor space. During the washing of pipettes, it is unnecessary to open or close the door although we recommend that the door be kept closed during wash to contain any excess splashing that may occur. The washer can also be set up on a lab bench, on the floor, or wherever you have room in your laboratory. For this setup, you must purchase the pump and basin accessories with the washer. To operate the washer using the basin and pump, place washer in a basin full of water. This setup is also useful if you wish to use acids or wash solutions to clean your pipettes. The pump is submersible, so it should sit directly in the water. Simply attach the tubing from the front of the pipette washer to the pump. Plug in the pump to turn it on. The water, 
acid or solution in the basin will begin to recirculate through the washer. You may choose to modify the valve settings to ensure that the right amount of water is flowing through each of your pipettes. You may run detergents through the pipette washer and dryer. Acids may also be used, but be sure to securely close the door to prevent splashing. The durable polyethylene construction is acid resistant. We recommend room temperature water, but extremely hot or cold temperatures should not adversely affect the pipette washer and dryer. With hot temperatures, the tubing may become soft and pliable. If one or more of the pipettes inserted into the pipette washer are not being washed, make note of which units are not functioning and turn the waters off at its source. Tilt the pipette washer cabinet as to be able to view the bottom of the unit. Look for any disconnected tubes or loose pipette connectors. If any connections are loose, tighten them slightly. Set the unit back to its upright position and turn the water on once again. The unit should now be working properly. 